best wishes dear children how are you all i hope you all are in best of your spirits and enjoying your learning sessions with me namneet kaur your mathematics teacher so dear children what do you see on the board yes something in red color okay what else yes they look nice they look like butterflies okay and what is the special thing yes there's something that is repeated from here here again here and again here right so what is this if you take a close look this is something goes like this then goes like this again goes like this again goes like this what is this yes it is a type of pattern so what are we going to talk about yes today we are going to talk about patterns so can you see the pattern yes we are going to talk about how many patterns do we see around so this is the first pattern that i talked about today let's have a look on some other patterns so children let's smile together you smile at me i smile at you right so dear children we have so many smileys here but there is a yes pattern there is a pattern can you identify that pattern in which these smileys have been placed yes the pattern is one up can you see it's up because the eyes are above and the smile is here but if you can see this smiley is downwards right its eyes are downwards and its smile is downwards like this so the pattern is one up and one down so how simple this is this is a pattern where one up and one down is placed one up one down one up one down now what do you see yes there are twinkle twinkle little stars so is there some pattern yes these stars are in a line and the line is downwards right and there is another pattern that is when there is a space like this the shape is like this you see this shape of the star is followed by the v shape of the next star like this can you see again this pointed is the edge of the star and the next one again has the v thing so this again goes like this can you see can you see the pattern yes can you see the pattern of course you can see what do you see now yes correct again another pattern so what kind of pattern is this very well said yes they are in this line okay what else okay there is color difference okay what is it yes blue followed by red again blue again red and so on okay what is the next difference that you see yes the difference in the number of number of petals of the flowers can you see that difference did you notice yes yeah. so how many petals do you see in the blue flowers correct 7 and then in the red 5 the next flower has 
seven petals and then red five seven five seven five and so on so can you see this pattern yes good my dear children so now you know how to look for a pattern how the pattern is made let's check out dear children some of your friends are having a conversation hmm and i think they are having an interesting conversation after listening to what i have already told you about patterns let's go and listen to their conversation isha your skirt is beautiful hmm thank you so much my mother made this pattern i have seen the same block making a different pattern on a kurta how was it different in your skirt the rule of pattern is one up one down then this is repeated but in my brother's kurta it is once up then takes a one four turn every time the rule is to repeat it with a one fourth clockwise turn oh dear children look they have understood the pattern they have understood how the patterns are made they are actually observing their dresses and the patterns on their dresses so let's see what she means by one fourth turn okay now my dear children let's see how patterns are made now this is a clock right and 12 6 3 9 right now what happens is these needles they move in this direction right in this direction so this direction is called clockwise what is it clockwise okay now if these needles suppose move this side somehow by default or by defect what will we say it is moving this direction is called anti clockwise right what is it anti clockwise normally the needles of the clock they move this way but if something moves the opposite way it is called anti clockwise right that movement is called anti clockwise movement how can we make these patterns let's check out let me show you how patterns are made i ha i am making a rectangular box here okay and then i am dividing it into sub parts like this okay now so let's use a pattern here i am putting it like this it's like a candle flame upwards right what is the direction upwards now if we move clockwise half a turn will move like this right okay and then will move downwards and then again backwards so this is the pattern we are going to move in suppose this is here let's put it like this look at the arrows right now downwards this is one third turn and we are going one fourth turn can you see a pattern is being made so can you see that right okay dear children now let's move ahead Now dear children you have to use two rules to make patterns with this block what a beautiful block it is look 
so you also have to make your own rule and then you will tell us what rule did you use good you are all making good efforts look at this block we make three different rules to turn it clockwise and see the patterns rule 1 repeat it with a one fourth turn can you see here is the block we turned it one fourth let's have a look at rule number two repeat it with half a turn can you see half a turn yes it is like this and again half a turn again half a turn again half a turn again half a turn this is really interesting look how beautiful this pattern is looking let's have a look at rule number three repeat it with a three-fourths turn can you see here is three-fourths turn one three-fourths turn two three-fourths turn three three-fourths turn four and this continues and again a beautiful pattern has emerged observe very keenly the pattern so you see yes good now it's your turn to think and tell me which pattern comes next so can you see the circle yes it's rotating so who will come and tell me the next pattern very well done and anyone else who's gonna try the next pattern well done perfectly right okay dear children now i think you have understood these patterns very well so look at this alphabet n now and look at the pattern very keenly right what do you see yes good so you have observed it pretty well and now it's your turn to tell me what comes next yes very good and what comes next good perfect well done so n is standing first then it comes in the shape of z like then n again then z like shape and then n again good my dear children now it's time to look at these triangles with the dots very carefully what do you see yes on one corner uh, in the base side you have one dot and the upper side has four dots so now you can have a look at this very carefully and tell me what comes next perfect very well done and what comes next well done okay dear children now look at this what do you see yes it's a circle and inside it you have a square and that square has been divided from the center and we can see two triangles right so what comes next well done and now draw again very well done good now see this pattern what is it yes it is english alphabet f and look at the way it has been designed yes now you have observed it carefully so tell me what comes next you have to take the correct option the rule of the pattern is turning by 45 degree each time so which will be the next you have to tick this this or this correct option c is correct now using the same rule take it forward till you get back to what you started with let's do it with alphabet l good good very well done very good very good 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 and finally you have got the same L now this is for you you have to draw it right now 
in your notebook and get it checked by your elders. So look carefully and think for the solution. Okay dear children, now some patterns are given below on the left side of the red line. For each pattern, write the rule. Then choose what comes next from right side of the line and tick mark it. So look at the A part. What do you see? Yes, good. So what rule have you observed? Yes, turn by 45 degree each time. Well done. Now look at this figure. What do you see? Observe keenly. Now tell me the rule. Yes, turn by 90 degree each time. These two, you all have to do by yourself. Mark that picture which is breaking the rule. Also correct it. Now look here. A part. Hmm, this is a beautiful picture and you have to look carefully what is the rule and which is breaking the rule. Which figure is breaking the rule? Yes, in this pattern, the sixth figure from the left is breaking the rule. Okay, dear children, now look at this. Here in this figure, umbrellas have been drawn. So you have to check out which figure is breaking the rule. Yes, the sixth figure from the left is breaking the rule. Okay, now C part. Look at these hawks. Which hawk figure is breaking the rule? Yes, the second figure is breaking the rule. Okay, now look here. Which figure is breaking the rule? D part. Which figure is breaking the rule? Correct. The fourth figure is breaking the rule. Hey children, let's make some magic squares. Fill this square using all the numbers from 46 to 54. The rule is that the total of each line is 150. So are you ready? Look here. In the first row, here it's 49. Middle row, 46. And the last row has two numbers, 52 and 47. All these boxes, the blue, green, pink, blue, look at the pattern, these are not filled. So we have to put the numbers and fill them with the rule that the total in each line is 150. So what will you do? From the question, it is given that total of each line is equal to 150. So let us take third row. From the rule, suppose the value that is not given to us, let it be x. x plus 52 plus 47 is equal to 150. So, 52 and 47 if we add up, 99. So, x plus 99 is equal to 150. This means 150 minus 99 is the value of x. So, the number in the first box in the row is 51 that comes after subtracting 150 from 99 now since this line has two numbers now we can use this now in the first column let it be y the number that is missing is y now y plus 46 plus 51 is equal to 150 now this means y plus 97 is equal to 150 so y is equal to 150 minus 97 therefore number in the first box in first column is 53 so dear students now you have to solve all by yourself so this way dear children you can identify patterns and have a number of games with these patterns i hope you have understood how to analyze patterns Fill this square using all the numbers from 21 to 29. The total of each side is 75. So my dear children, how will you do this? So as we have already done, what are you going to do? You have to guess one box first and then 
the third box you can automatically guess right hey dear children what's the time now yes it's time to say bye bye but before that we have to take the homework this is a fun for you what all you have to do is you have to make your own patterns make your own rules like i have done here what rule have i followed this is very simple i have used this rule two lines right then the upper line i have put like this that is downward movement and upward movement downward upward so this is one this is the pattern that i had can you see if i remove this this is one one butterfly look this is one butterfly so this is in upward direction and then suppose i put it like this then it comes in the downward direction look here downwards right so this is the rule that i have followed upward downward right downward upward downward upward downward upward this was one simple rule that i followed so you can follow as many rules as you feel like and move from simple to complex rules so there are a number of activities related to patterns in your textbook i hope you are going to have a lot of fun with those activities and exercises so my dear children with this i would like to take your leave stay connected till the next videos come your way take care bye bye